Android TV Box finally coming back to Media Box CNT. And this one, the, the MSA. Do you guys remember the MSA, the, one of those boxes? I think that's actually my first video when I started this channel. That was about three, four years ago. In my first video, this how to config the MSA. The difference today, the MSA is a, it's a pro version. This one has a two gigabyte and it has a 16 gigabytes of DDR compared to the other one with only Android version. I think it was version four, I can't remember. And today this is version uh, 712, quad core, much faster. And what I'm gonna be doing now, I'm gonna show you how this thing works. I have to config real fast. We're gonna be installing a four terabyte drive. You guys can see, it can see it's a four terabyte drive. This thing comes with Kodi also, but not installed. It's kind of pre-installed. You need to execute an application. I show you that little secret too. And let's change camera. Let's go over a few of the things here on the the Mi Pro, or not Mi Pro, the Mi Cool MSA. Well, it brings me some memories when I begin this channel. So, what we get in the box? So, we get the remote control. Remember, this remote control that infrared, so it always needs to be pointed to the front of the box. Uh, the nice thing this time comes with the instruction how to uh, program your TV, so you can use your remote control to turn your TV, use one control, control remote for all. So that's real nice. Comes with the power supply, it's five volts. Comes with the HDMI cable and the box. This is a 4K. Here we see the information what I was talking about. And this one will reproduce 4K. Now if we look around the front. This will be the front of the box right there. When you power it up, only has like a little blue light, not much light. Let's power it up from this side. And it comes on and it shows you a little blue dot there. It's right in the beginning. If we look right here, we have the AV connection. That's what they call the old school TV and the tube TV. Now, uh, the Ethernet connection, you can use Wi Fi. This one supports only 2.4 gigahertz HDMI cable and the 5, uh, five volt uh, powered in. They changed to you before, used to be, I think, it's 6 or 5 millimeter. Now they have the small size. Right in the side, we have the two. USB connector, that's what uh, I'm going to be plugging in my 4 terabyte drive. And also we have a micro SD card to load MP3, load movies, or whatever you want to load. And it's real light, it's small, tiny box compared to what used to be the old MSA. Uh, and I think I still have some of those there somewhere there. So it's nice, eh? real nice box. So now let's move on and I'll show you how to config and let's look over some of the applications so you will know what do you need before you buy this box? All right, so this is a uh, Buddha screen. I just cut out the time. It takes about maybe 40 seconds, 30 seconds. And we see the main screen is pretty clean. And that's remember a lot of memories, though. Like the uh, uh, regular MSA. Uh, the difference is much higher. So it's pretty clean, real nice here. I want you to like it. You get the manual now, and the manual is online. And what it did, it created some hyperlinks on some of the YouTube channels. So if you need to install an application or something else, you can click on it and it will go straight to some of the channel, all the channel, the guys who create the box, I'm not sure. But it's pretty simple. So we get the documentation and the video. If you know how to install it, you want to see that. But I'm going to go over all those things anyway. You have to execute every application. So we see that to start off. Let's go back to the main menu. And right there, you can add, that's a shortcut. Just go ahead and any application you want to add, the ones that are in the main menu, and you can add as many you want, it will fit and run the screen. Now, the TV center, that's coded actually, but it's not installed if you see. What happened if you remember like three, four years ago, they used to call full loaded box. Well, they got banned by Amazon, they got banned by eBay, there were so many rules always going on. So what did they, they let the user decide if you want to install it or not. So you install it, and I show you how to do that. But remember, there's no errands. So it's a simple, clean version. And since it's an open source, anyone can change the name and they create a version. Now, this is your explorer, this is your browser. Here you can see your file, you know, copy your pictures or your MP3s right over here. Let's move to the application. Pretty simple. And then we're going to execute code in a little bit. And you see all the applications, settings, Google, now Netflix. And as well, I'm going to go on the bottom now, that application. That's NIPTV, and I'm gonna execute it. I do not have an account you need. It's a payable account you need to pay, and you can watch, I got, I don't know, a bunch of channels, but it's a pay subscription. So 
not worth it me going over how to install it when I do not have that uh, that service. Now for Cody, do not upgrade Cody if it's I mean I'm sorry. For Netflix, do not update Netflix because if it works from the beginning, leave it. Because see if you upgrade it sometimes, you uh, Netflix is not no longer is gonna work. It has to do with the DDR uh, code. It's not going to work. You're going to get an error. You're not going to be able to watch any HD. That's because, I guess, Netflix doesn't want to provide the key to the Chinese boxes. So you have to do it by the DDR code. You'll be able to see maybe 480, but not a 720 on HD. Only on Xbox, PlayStation 4, and those uh, smart TV, they are, um, uh, they are in the list uh, for... Uh, um, uh, be able to play that now the google store you can use that if you want now for the internet pretty simple i mean to save time i just plug it in straight remember this only supports 2.4 gigahertz pretty simple even though i recommend to use wired if you can wired is much faster and but it should be enough speed to watch uh, streaming uh, movies or whatever and very simple, you know, put your password set up and, and you're done. It's getting my IP address now in a second. I think they already get in the bottom. But I do recommend that. Now, for that, if you want to control your TV and your box at the same time, you use this, you activate it. So what happens is you can either decide, okay, when I turn my TV on in HDMI channel 1, turn the box on. Or when I turn the box on, turn the TV on. So kind of you don't need to use two remote control. One does it all. And you can control, turn it off, turn it on the TV. When you turn here, your TV will go off. If you have any problem, I remember the old box used to give some people problems, the user. So if they that, you can turn it off and turn it on manually. Sound, that's a regular sound from the system. You can turn it off if you want. It's not. Remember, the, this operating system is designed for the phone. So the things we're going to see here, it's just exactly for the phone. It's just a little modification, almost none, but it's no different than the phone. Uh, and a lot of things is not going to be used in here, right? So the applications, uh, you can execute the application from there. And you can clean the cache. You can clean data. Remember, when you do that, you're going to be able, I said, if you got caught it and you clean your, your, your data, you will have to, again, install every every error and again. You will clean everything up. But sometimes you have to because you have problems, but that's the way to do it. And you can install from here. Screen saver, normal screen saver, the famous clock, you can save the time if you live after 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and that's it. Display. Now from here, the screen resolution should detect automatic, leaving automatic, and, and it should detect your TV as a 4K, you should set to display. You can do a screen position. If you get any problem, you can zoom in and zoom out. If you get any black borders on the side, uh, but it should be okay. So set off, these boxes are pretty good now. You don't need to play much. And also, you can play around with the position of the screen. The only difference for that is that the game was designed for the tablet, and you turn on the tablet on, you do that. Now, that's the next thing, too, the, the, the status bar. A lot of people want the status bar. And some of the users, I remember the government machine, I say, I don't want the status bar. How you can remove that? Well, from here, you can activate it on and off. It makes it pretty simple now. And that's what I always call it, the screen rotation. You can leave a standard or you can change it, and you can activate that when you do uh, gaming, get the sign for the tablet, and you decide to play in the TV. Now, the storage here, uh, we see the storage is 16 gigabyte, a little less to start off, but 16 gigabyte. I'm going to plug in my 4 terabyte drive, it detected perfect. I can load up and play videos. I was able to play my MP3s and everything, and a bunch of music videos, but no problem, you can load up movies and everything. So we plug it in, it should detect in a second, and if you're gonna format, you're gonna format your drive in, in TFS, and it should detect it, you see right there, it's a Toro uh, drive USB point uh, 3.0, and it detected it uh, perfectly. And you can load application if you want there. You can do factory reset from there too. About, it's about the box, and we're going to check it out, the upper insistence, if I remember this, yes, yeah, 7.12. Uh, and show you the bill and all the information. And you can reset it from here. What you can do is reset and turn it off. You can do that. And here you can change your time zone. If you are on a, oh, I don't know, east, west, you can change your whatever country. 
go ahead and change it. I'm going to change, click that, and the automatic will sync through the internet. You do that once, and it's done. Uh, full language, you just go here, and if you decide to change to a different language, uh, you can do it right, right from here. You choose your language, and it's, and it's done. Pretty simple. Now, I think I changed in Spanish now. <laughs> all right. I don't know why I did that, but all right. So from here, you can change uh, the keyboard. Now, power settings. Uh, power settings, you can do initial, reboot, and, and reset or turn it off uh, from the main box. That's only if you want to turn it off. Kind of have to travel a lot if you want to turn this box off. It makes no sense. But if not, you can do it right from, from the remote control. You should be able uh, to turn it off. Now, the next is the main uh, configuration. No different than the first configuration. And then here, you make sure you leave everything on. That's if you want to uh, be able to install applications that are not from the Google Store. By default, it's on. Just leave it where it is. That's a security and registration. You're going to leave it on. And here is... It's like the main configuration, but more details now. The Wi-Fi, uh, you get uh, notifications, uh, you get all like same, the same exactly. They give you a little more explanation or with a different white background. Again, we can install applications here. We can delete. We can check all the information. We can check this out. Here, I do recommend to bring the volume all the way up. That's the volume from your movies and then you can control the volume from the stereo or from your uh, TV security here and and then we can create the accounts here and you can create Google and some other accounts if you decide to be able to download stuff from Google Play then I will say you know create an account or install an account I will say first make sure you have an account a regular computer then come here and Log in. Do not try to create an account using these boxes. You go pretty crazy. Uh, one thing I want to remind you, you can use a regular mouse over here and a regular keyboard 2.0. You can just grab your old keyboard from your computer USB, plug it in, and it will detect it with no problem. Yeah, if you have in the house in a all uh, wireless mouse USB 2.0, you can just plug it in, and you will be perfect and fine to... Um, to install or do any things. So now, what I'm going to do now, I want to install, and that's actually to update the box. If you guys want to do an update, you can check. They didn't show me any update, but you can click. Or you can download. If you do have a uh, physical uh, ROM, you can just go and and do it. But if it's working fine, I will say do not do it. No, what is it? It's screwed up. Now, TV Center is where you're going to install Cody. So you click Install. And then automatic will install Cody. So now kind of you accept the user agreement and install Cody right in the box. Um, now you will have to uh, now go in it in it some errands and put some uh, uh, errands to make this thing uh, really works or really do something. Because by default, we're not do anything to you. Only maybe if you have some MP3s or movies and your local drive, you can map it right over here and use that as a, a from view. Now, I'm going to click Done because now if you go to the main screen, you will see now you can we can execute it from the main screen. So on purpose, I'm going to put Done and I'm going to execute it from here. We're going to go to the main screen and now we're going to execute TV Center and that's it. And it's called TV Center. You guys know it's in open, in open source, so that anyone can go there and change a name and put whatever you want to use on a name. This one they call it TV Center, and that's it. Right now we have the famous uh, Cody, and you can see they have some stuff there. But normally that's where it goes online. Nothing, nothing big, not a special there. A few years ago, yeah, you used to get a lot of things and a lot of channels and a lot of things, but they stop it because I get this die soon. Everybody because of that. All right. All right, so as you see, we, we look over all the configuration. Just remember one thing when I was talking about, when I was doing navigating to the remote control, uh, very important this, the only thing I use is just this around. This is the only thing I'm using all the time to navigate, and this goes back. 
And do not activate the mouse because if you activate the mouse, if it happened, you activate the mouse and the screen goes real slow because you get to move this and you see the mouse moves real slow because of this problem. Huh? So the de deactivate. Um, I never actually never use the mouse in these boxes. I even I got mashes sometimes. Oh, my mouse is it goes so slow. Why it takes me so much time? Because people don't figure it out. There's a, a small button there. They will turn it off the mouse. So useless. Do not want to use the mouse. Just use this. So definitely it's a good box to play. MP3 to play some classic games or watch some movies or anything. And it's real nice to plug it in a rocket in the back of the TV. Nobody see it. Or you can use this anywhere. And it's a cool Android box. Has changed a lot since 2014. Um, if you need more information on how to get this box, check the link below. Thank you.